Hey guys, my name is AP, and today we will be uh, adding textures to our models. So uh, right now, uh, we only have a model that is colored by the shader, not by a specific texture. And I also want to tell you that I have reorganized the code to where it's easier to be uh, add stuff and read. So uh, instead of just adding a model here, I just I have a model that has a, a bunch of uh, methods to um, add models, and uh, in the model, and what I did is I make untextured model, which extends model, and it does all this, and it basically does the work. So what we're going to be adding is textures to it. So the first thing we have to create is a material which a material is going to hold our texture but it's also going to hold a couple other values like uh, if it's uh, transparent if it's um, reflective you know all that so we're going to create a class we're going to call it material and right here and so in that class uh, we're going to create a we're going to create a function we're going to create a constructor that takes in a file name so it's going to be a string file and it's going to load and it's also going to have a private int texture id for right now and we're going to create a getter for that texture id so source generate getters and setters uh, just like getters okay and so in this constructor we're going to take in the string file and we're going to do in a try catch uh, what would you call it I think it'd be like statement yeah uh, I oh ex uh, exception e and it needs to do texture ID is equal to texture oh by the way uh, I have added a uh, jar which is slick utils and lightweight java game library 3 uh this is an added you have to do uh another class but i don't know that class i'm not familiar with it so instead i have got a uh a link here hold on let me just pull it up real quick okay here's the link and uh basically it's a jar and it if you just do you put it in the same way that you did with all these jars uh, you can use the classes so we're gonna put in texture loader dot uh, get texture and we're going to do format which is going to be the PNG it's always going to be PNG it's never going to be anything else and in is a new file input stream spell input wrong input stream and it's going to be our string but we're gonna add uh, res slash textures so uh, in our res folder we're gonna have a textures folder and in that we're gonna put all of our textures I already have a texture in there and then plus file and then let's just input import file input stream and oh and we have to put the plus file uh, in there And we have to get the ID of it. So after that, we do dot get texture ID, which then in the IO exception we need to import. We're gonna say system dot error dot print line error couldn't load texture, and then let's escape. So system dot exit minus one. So this is the material class all done. Uh, it has what we need, and so we can just uh, close that out. So now we're going to create a new model. It's going to be uh, called a uh, textured model instead of untextured model. Textured model, and it's going to be basically the same as untextured, but we're going to add a few things. Uh, Textured, textured, 
There we go. And so it's going to have uh, all this, but it's going to have another buffer ID. It's going to be called indices buffer, not indices, texture chords buffer ID. And in the delete, we're actually going to delete it. So uh, GL delete buffers, text chord buffers. So, and then we're going to uh, gen it in here, generate it in here. So uh, that's going to be uh, texture chord ID is going to be equal to super, which is this class dot store data. The attribute number is going to be one because it's going to be in the first, it's going to be in the second part of our vertex array. It's going to be too big. And it's gonna, and we're gonna put in another one called float texture chords, and oh, float array texture chords, and that's what's gonna be put in. So I haven't actually went over what the, the model class does. So basically, a uh, create vertex array, it creates a vertex array, and then it uh, the store data uh, creates a float buffer puts the data in the buffer, it binds the buffer, then it create and then it puts uh it creates a vertex attribute pointer with uh the attribute number which is the index, the coordinate size, which is how big you want it, and uh just returns the buffer ID. So and the bind and disease buffer is basically the same, but it's for int buffer and element array instead of just uh, array buffer. <laughs> Anyways, so after we do this, uh, we need to uh, create another, we need to have another variable called a material, a material, and import that. So in this, after we uh, bind it, we're going to create a material, so material, uh, not that, not with a capital N, material equals new material, and it's going to take in another argument which is string file and that's going to be put in there and so we're also uh wait does it get it does the material get removed no it doesn't so we're going to uh remove that some public uh, void remove which basically just gets rid of gl15.gl delete textures and all our texture ID so in the remove we're after all that we're going to just going to do a uh, material dot remove so it also removes that as well so we also need to get another getter which is just get material so source uh, generate getters so like getters you don't need this one this one or this one and there we go. So that should be the textured model class done. So in the renderer, we actually need to add a method to render our texture model. And once again, it's going to mostly be the same as uh, rendered the normal non-textured model, but it's going to be slightly different. So it's going to take in a textured model. Let's import uh, that. And it's going to uh, enable the second one, which is basically the texture coordinates. Enable .gl enable uh, attribute array and gl twenty .gl disable uh, vertex array attribute. Well, whatever. I can't really speak today. So after it does that, we also need to bind our texture to uh, our model so we need to do gl 13.gl active at yeah active yeah active sorry i just had a brain derp there and it's going to be uh the first one which is gl texture zero and then we need to actually bind it so gl bind texture which is uh it's going to be a 2d texture and texture 2d and it is going to be our model dot get material 
dot get texture ID. So there, there we go. Oh, that's there we go. So now after we do that, we're not quite finished because uh, if we do this, it's not going to render it. We need to go to our shaders and actually uh, change the color of it. And so uh, model, uh, we're done with this. Uh, we don't need render on textured or textured or material. We need to go to uh, our basic shader and our two sh uh, program uh, shader programs. So in here, I have already uh, binded text cords, which uh, we're going to create real quick. So uh, in here, so we do in back to text cords and make sure this is exactly the same uh, as what you put up here and so what basically this does it, it puts the text cords in the vertex array and so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a out what well, we don't need color anymore because our color is going to be uh, our text cords so instead of out vec4 it'd be out vec2 and instead of color it'd be pass text cords so we can pass it to our fragment shader and then we can change the color there. So we do uh, pass text chords is equal to text chords. And then we need to go to fragment shader and we need to take in uh, text uh, pass text chords, which I'm just going to copy from here. And it's going to put out a frag color. So frag color, we also need to put in another one, which is a uh, uniform a uh, sampler 2d and we'll just call it sampler so what a sampler 2d is is it basically locates what at the pixel of our image what color that is and uniform we're going to be covering that later it basically we can communicate to the shader from our java code so instead of frag color being set to color, we're going to be setting it to a uh, texture function, which uh, finds the color of the image. So with our sampler and with our pass text chords, which is, just passes it from here, which is our text chords from here. So now we should be done. So in the main, we're going to, instead of being an untextured model, it's going to be a textured model. Textured model. And let's import that. Uh, also, you can import it by doing Control shift o uh, So it's like a shortcut to help you. And so now we need to create a uh, new float array. Not float. Float array. And comma, and we need to create a, a string at the end, which is going to be our texture name, which I called beautiful, because it is a beautiful image that I just created in five minutes, or two minutes probably. So also it has to be covered in string, uh, quotation marks, and in the float um, array, we're going to define it. So, oh, excuse me. So we're going to start from the top left corner, which is 0, 0. Then we're going to go to the uh, top right corner, which is 0, 1. Then we're going to the bottom right corner, which is 1, 1. And then we're going to the bottom left, which is 1, 0. And so we also need to say textured model, and it should be the same name. And let's run it. Let's see if it works. Oh, we have an error in our uh, shader code. So in the fragment shader uh, texture, no matching. It's probably because this error right here. Assign cannot convert a float to a, okay. So sampler, 2D sampler, out, back four. Oh, it's supposed to be a two, not a four. Okay, let's run it now. Can it load texture? Hold on, let's go to our material class and say, hmm, let's, oh, this doesn't have, okay, there we go. Just to 
silly error on my fault on my part. Sorry about that. Oh boy, this is not looking correct. Let me check some. I think I got these coordinates wrong. One moment, please. Okay, so uh, I got uh, the right vertices right now, and I basically had to change everything. So it goes from negative 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. Then it goes from, so this is top left, so I'll do this top left VO. I mean, first one, top right. Uh, v1 uh, this is going to be bottom right so bottom right v2 and bottom left v3 and there we go so and it goes from top left top right bottom right to bottom right bottom left top left and then here's the right texture chords, which just is V0, which is top left, V0, uh, what is this one? This would be, that's X, this would be top right, V1. Top, it'd probably be the same thing, bottom, right, V2, and bottom, left, V3. And this is going to be triangle 1, triangle 1, triangle 2. And so if we run this, we should have a rectangle with our beautiful uh, picture on it. Uh, uh, this should be included with the new formatted code, so you don't have to create a beauty of art like this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is probably it of uh, the tutorial. So, uh, next episode, uh, we're probably going to be doing um, matrices and uniforms, so we can actually move this uh, rectangle around. And, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!